Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the ESR latch using a NOR gate. So as we mentioned in the previous lectures, these SR latches as well as or latch or a flip-flop are sequential circuits in a digital electronic environment. A sequential circuit means we are introducing the concept of memory that is the storage concept is introducing in this sequential circuit. So in this lecture, we are discussing our ESR latch and the ESR latch deals with set and reset. These are the terms associated with this. And now, before going to discuss about the ESR latch, let us refresh the terms of OR gates as well as the NOR gate. So we had discussed these gate concepts in the previous set of lectures. So when we consider the OR gate, as we mentioned earlier, the OR gate results in yielding an output if and only if any one of its input is available. That is, if any of its input is 1, then that will result in an output of 1. So the truth table for this OR gate is 0, 0 results in 0, 0, 1 results in 1, 1, 0 results in 1, as well as 1, 1 results in 1. If we are connecting a NOT gate at the output of the OR gate, that is the output of the OR gate is given as the input of NOT and the output of NOT gate will result in 0, 0 to the OR gate results in the output 0 and that 0 is giving as the input to the NOT gate and that will result in an output of 1. So now we are considering a combinational logic known as NOR gate. This NOR gate is a combination of OR gate as well as the NOR gate. It is a single gate. And the NOR gate's truth table is as follows. 0, 0 results in output 1. 0, 1 results in 0. 1, 0 results in 0. And 1, 1 results in 0. This simply means that if any of its input is 1, then the output will yield in 0. So if any of its input is 1, then the output will result in 0. By using this NOR gate, we are going to introduce the concept of ESR latch. So as we mentioned, the latch are used to store a data in a digital electronic environment. That is, these latches as well as flip-flops are sequential circuits. That is, we are going to deal with the concept of memory or storage. And this ESR latch is a basic fundamental unit in a latching concept. And S stands for set as well as R stands for reset. And the output is represented with Q. And the Q complement is just inverting or reverting the output value Q. So in the SR latch concept, we are connecting two NOR gate and the output of one NOR gate is feeding as input of the second and the output of second NOR gate is feeding as one input of the first NOR gate. So this is how we are connecting or we are implementing a SR latch. For implementing the SR latch, the truth table of NOR gate should be in our mind. So the truth table of NOR gate is 0, 0 results in 1, 0, 1 results in 0, 1, 0 result in 0 and 1, 1 results in 0. So now let us introduce our concepts. We are dealing with our case 1. Our case 1 is S is equal to 0 and R is equal to 1. That is the input of set value is 0 and the reset value is 1. So we are giving S as 0 and R as 1. So this is feeding towards the two NOR gates. And if we are considering the NOR gates truth table, for a NOR gate, if any of its input is 1, will yield in an output of 0. That is, here the reset R value is given as 1. Therefore, the output Q will always be 0. So, the output Q is 0 because the reset R is given as 1 here. According to the truth table of NOR gate, when any of its input is 1, then the output will result in 0. So this Q value is next given as the input to the second NOR gate, that is a blue NOR gate. So this 0, the output value Q0 is given as the input of the second NOR gate. Thus, the two inputs of the second NOR gate is 0, 0. And according to the truth table of the NOR gate, 0, 0 is resulting in 1. 
that is the q complement value is 1 so now look at this particular lash the value of q is 0 and the value of q complement is 1 so this is a justifiable condition that is q is equal to 0 and q complement is 1 so our first case is dealing with s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 results in q is equal to 0 and q complement equals 1 so now let us consider a concept that if we are removing both the input s and r that is we are removing the input s and r which simply means that the value of s is equal to 0 as well as the value of r is equal to 0 0 means we are not giving any input so we are removing the input which results in s value equal to 0 and r value equal to 0 then so according to the total area of our gate if any of its input is 0 then the output of the NOR gate depend upon the second input that is if we are considering or if we are starting from q is equal to 0 that q value is feeding towards the second NOR gate's input that is the second NOR gate the NOR gate which is connected with the set pin becomes 0 0 then according to the NOR gate's truth table 0 0 results in 1 that is the q complement value is 1 itself which means there is no change according to the previous state and the present state that is no change of value and this one is feeding back towards the r latch nor gate that is the nor gate which is connected to the reset pin now becomes 0 and 1 input values so 0 and 1 input uh, for a nor gate results in output of 0 so there is no change in the value of q Thus, we can conclude that if we are removing the values or if the value of S is equal to R is equal to 0 means we are dealing with the concept of memory. So that means that the value of the previous input is not changing which we can conclude that this is a memory condition that is we are saving the previous value until the value is being changed intentionally or providing a particular input value so now let us consider the case 2 here we are dealing with s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 0 so the set value is given as 1 reset value is given as 0 now according to the nor gates truth table as we mentioned earlier any of its input 1 results in an output of 0 that is here the s value is given as 1 that is a second nor gates output will be 0 that is a q complement value will be 0 and this 0 is feeding towards the input of the first NOR gate and thus the first NOR gate's input will become 0 and 0 according to the NOR gate's truth table the output of 0 0 results in 1 that is the first NOR gate output will be 1 so this simply means that the value of q is equal to 1 as well as q complement is equal to 0 this also become justifiable that is value of q equal to 1 simply means that the q complement value is 0 so the values are justifiable so this is our second case 1 0 that is s value 1 r value 0 yields in an output of q equal to 1 q complement equals 0 now let us consider if we are removing the value of s and r that is the value of s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 so the value 0 means we are just not giving any input values so the value becomes 0 0 so now according to the truth table if any of the value is 0 then the output of the nor gate depend upon the second input value now let us start from q is equal to 1 and this q value is feeding towards the input of the second nor gate that is the output of the first nor gate q is equal to 1 is giving as the input of the second nor gate so now the input of second nor gate becomes 1 0 that is according to the nor gate the input 1 0 results in an output of 0 so q complements new value becomes 0 that is the previous value is 0 and the current value is 0 itself this simply means that there is no change in the value of q complement so now this zero value is given as the input 
to the first NOR gate. So now the input of first NOR gate becomes 0, 0. This means according to the truth table of NOR gate, 0, 0 results in 1. That is the first NOR gate output is 1. That is Q's new value is 1. This means there is no change in the value of Q. Previously the value of Q was 1 and currently the value is 1 itself. This means that we are dealing with the term memory. This means that if we are removing the value of S and R, then the value of Q and Q complement remains unchanged. That is, we can store that particular value until new set of input signals are given. So my dear students, 0, 0 condition in an SR always yields in the memory condition. 0, 1 results in Q as 0 and Q complement as 1. 1, 0 yields in Q as 1 and 0 as Q complement. This means that if we are providing the set signal as 1, then the output will be 1 or the Q value will be 1. If the reset pin is given as 1, then the Q value will be 0. That is set signal results in the output of 1 and the reset signal result in an output of 0. That's why this latch is known as SR latch, set reset latch. Now we are moving to the third important case. Here in this case, we are dealing with S is equal to 1, R is equal to 1. Now let us consider what will happen if we are providing S equal to 1, R equal to 1. So according to the truth table of NOR gate, if any of its input value is 1, then the output value results in 0. That simply means that here we are giving both S and R is 1, that is both the output of 2 NOR gate will be 0, that is Q is equal to 0 as well as Q complement equals 0. So this is a contradiction that both the values of Q and Q complement is 0. This cannot be given in a circuit or this does not exist in a circuit. That's why this condition could not be used in a digital electronic environment. That is, S is equal to 1, R equal to 1 should not be used in a circuit. So, now let us discuss what will happen if we are removing these two signals that is the signal s equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 is giving so s equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 now if we are starting from the value q equal to 0 that is the output q is equal to 0 is given as the input to the second nor gate so according to nor gate principle the output of 0 0 is 1 that is the second NOR gate's input is 0 0 which means the output of second NOR gate will be 1 so the value of Q complement has changed from 0 to 1 so previous value of Q complement was 0 and the present value of Q complement is 1 now let us discuss what will happen if we are feeding this output value 1 towards the input of the first NOR gate. So now the input of first NOR gate becomes 0 and 1. So according to NOR gate truth table 0 1 input results in an output of 0 that is the value of Q is not changing. So now it becomes a satisfactory output Q is equal to 0 and Q complement is equal to 1. But now let us discuss what will happen to the next condition. So previously we was discussing while starting from Q is equal to 0. Now let us discuss what will happen if we are starting from Q complement equal to 0. So we are starting from Q complement is equal to 0 and this Q complement 0 value is given as the input to the first NOR gate. So the first NOR gate's input becomes 0, 0 and according to the truth table of NOR gate 0, 0 input results in an output of 1 that is first NOR gate's output will now becomes 1 that is the previously the value of Q was 0 and currently the value of Q will become 1. So this 1 is feeding towards the second NOR gate's input. So second NOR gate's output 
so second OR case input now becomes 1 and 0 1 0 or 0 1's output will be 0 and the Q complement value is 0 so my dear students according to this consideration this 1 1 condition that is ES is equal to 1 R is equal to 1 or this case 3 condition is always a contradictory condition so that's why this condition is not using in a digital electronic environment so now let us consolidate what we have discussed in this lecture we had discussed about what is a SR latch S stand for set R stand for reset and an SR latch is a sequential circuit which means that we are use this circuit as a memory unit or we are going to save a particular set of data so in this lecture we had introduced the SR latch implementation with a NOR gate and for implementing this SR latch what we had done is so we had connected two NOR gate in which output of the first NOR gate is given as the input of the second NOR gate and the output of the second NOR gate is given as one input to the first NOR gate so yes equal to one means the output will result in one R is equal to one means the output will result in zero that's why this circuit is known as set reset latch or simply SR latch and the truth table or consolidation of the SR latch is as follows S equal to 0 R is equal to 0 condition is known as the memory condition that is when S is equal to 0 R is equal to 0 then that particular latch condition will always yields in preserving the previous values of Q and Q complement that is the values of Q and Q complement does not change when S equal to R equal to 0 the condition S is equal to 0, R is equal to 1 means we are dealing with a reset condition that is the value of Q will be 0. The S equal to 1, R is equal to 0 means we are dealing with a set condition that is we are setting the output Q as 1 and here 1 1 condition that is S equal to 1, R equal to 1 condition is not using in a S or last position that is this is a contradictory condition so one one condition is not using in a SR latch using NOR gate so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through this assignment question the question is write notes on SR latch using NOR gate so many students see you soon in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the implementation of ESR latch using NAND gate so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best